Master Shaho do? Do you know what our Lord truly plans? Hmm? The rumors about the Emperor? Exactly. Firstly, what does he think of this? Is this even what he wants to have happen? Who can say? I have known him for ages, and even I cannot say what he is thinking most times. And yet, whether he accepts the throne or not, I believe that he will remain himself. He won't change. That is why we too must not change. As commanding officers will fulfill our duties. The enemy will bring its main force against us. Your duty is to stop them. Indeed it is. I can see why our lord has kept you by his side so long. Coach of Fierce, I'm on HD with Game of Future, bringing another Battle of Dynasty for 6, and this is Shahu Doon's campaign, the Battle of Heifei. Um, I don't actually know particularly a large amount on this battle. But all I know so far, um, so I, I was never really too interested in the way side of things. In fact, I, I, I never used to like when I was younger. I don't know why, I just never liked them. But. Because, well, really, sure, my favourite, and so I spent more big detail into. I did do something to Wu, because I like the um, the idea that um, Shou Yu has. Um, those, those are pretty damn awesome. Although, I will, I may read the basic synops um, background of this. Um, ah, Lim Thomas are hitting me! Oh, come on then. Okay, that's other than an officer tries to beat me right now, trying to get his officer up. Oh, damn, I think. Yeah, I thought I had to tap there, and man, it still wasn't enough. Um, by the way, as I'm doing this, I've actually got um, two more World Tour War videos. I'm just ready to go up, which I'm going to be explaining all of that. My schedule's been pretty bad recently, and I haven't been constantly doing Dynasty Wars like I was going to, so I'm very sorry for that, guys. It, it's just recently getting all the partnership and everything sorted and the new channel layout and oh, just getting it all sorted is a huge pain in the ass but eventually it'll be, it'll, it'll be done, it'll be done and now actually I think I'm going to take on the general over here trying to break in he thinks he can sneak past me, he's got another thing coming Dong Ji, okay There we go. There we go. Anything. Oh, I'm actually going to look at my basics, um, the rough background of the Battle of Hei Fei for you guys. Oh, yeah, I actually did forget to mention that. This is actually commanded by. This is the one that happened in 208 AD. I know there was actually uh, more than one battle in this area, so just to clarify that, this is the one between um, Soon Kwon and Cao Cao in 208 AD. Um, so, seeing as um, South Tsar was defeated by Sun Kwan and Luke Bay at the Battle of Red Fifth, otherwise known as the Battle of Chi Bi, uh, but he stood on a large army garrisoned in the north part of Jing Province, which is currently located, if you guys don't know, in uh, Hubei in Hunan. Uh, the following month, Sun Kwan's general, Zhou Yu, led an attack on Jianling. Um, I'm not to be confused with Jamlin County, Hubei, which was defended by Cao Cao's cousin, Cao Ren. Okay, right. Let's read a basic list of this battle. At the same time, Sun Quan personally led an assault. There we go, I couldn't get that thing sorted there. Oh, I should probably help him. Oh, come on. Oh, right, anyway. Um, anyway, Sun Quan personally led an assault on Zato's fortress at Heifei, which was defeated by Lu Fu. In an attempt to open two, uh, two war fronts in the war west and north, um, oh crap, I've lost myself. I, actually did, I took notes for this. God damn it. And. Oh. He tried to open the war on two fronts, like, a bit like what we did with the Americans and that did in the. Um, World War Two, where we tried to well, we open up two fronts and Russia obviously and the and, 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 and British in the other place. Um, but anyway, right. Sun Quan also sent Zhang Zhao to attack Dang Tu and Zhu Zhang 
Okay. But it was unsuccessful. When Zhao Tsai Hulga moves to attack, he sent Zhang Ji to lead an army to reinforce Hei Fei. The battle dragged on into the, uh, on into the following year, but Sun Quan's forces weren't able to breach Hei Fei. Sun Quan in intends to personally lead a cavalry contingent on the charge of the enemy, but Zhang Hong advised him against it, using military as an offensive move. Battles are dangerous now that our army's morale is high. And if we suddenly launch a fierce attack, the troops will be disappointed. Even though it is possible to slay the enemy generals who capture their flags and instill fear in them, this is a mission that is to be carried out by a subordinate general, not the commander in chief. Even, uh, I hope you can control your zeal and courage and, and possess the strategies of the conqueror king. Sun Quan heeded Zhang Hong's advice and aborted his plan. As oh wait, damn! I left the general behind. Ah, oh, damn it! As Hefei had been continuing, constantly under attack for several months, compounded by heavy rain, the fortress walls were starting to collapse. So was it not a stable structure like this? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, guys, this bit's actually pretty damn awesome to watch. I'm not gonna lie. So I wonder if Zhang Liao got quite the reputation again. Anyway, um, it seems the world was starting to collapse, so Lu Fu ordered his men to use a straw and palm leaves to cut up cracks in the walls. At night, Lu Fu used torches to, lit, um, to light the bright and scene of hate outside Hei Fei to so observe the enemy's movements and prepare defences. Zhang Ji's relief force had yet to arrive, and Lu Fu was at a loss on how to resist the enemy. Lu Fu's deputy, Zhang Ji, suggested using a strategy to, survive, to deceive the enemy that Hei Fei's reinforcement had arrived. Spread false news that Zhang Ji's 40,000 strong relief army had reached Yu Luo, sent an official to pretend to receive Zhang Ji, sent three officers and bring a freight letter out of Hei Fei. One of the three officers returned to the fortress, the other two were, com were captured by a single one men who just found the letters on them. Soon Quan read the letters and thought Zhang Ji had from a arrived and indeed to so call his troops to burn down the camp and hastily retreat it. So yeah, that is an insight on the battle of Heifei. I hope you guys did enjoy that one actually. Um, sorry, the patchy nails, you know. Pretty hard remembering every single detail, but oh well, very nice. Um, now we've actually dominated quite a bit, now that Zhang Liao is actually helping in the um, east side of the battlefield. Um, Ching Pu, by the way, even though this is an important job on here so much, he actually is a um, becomes a very high ranking officer in the uh, Wu uh, army. I think he ended up becoming like a uh, a commander in chief or something, um, yet yeah, he did actually have quite an important role, which is very good to know in my opinion, because I quite like knowing that generals are actually weren't just as, as important to people on like sort of pro IT and all that, that actually did amount to something, because it made you feel that if you if you had a character yourself, then it then you were important, and if you didn't deal with it kind of thing, you know? I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but yeah. But, holy crap! Right, let's... Come on, right. I'm pretty close to beating most people. Oh! I don't know how many generals are left, but... If I could take the actual base itself, that'd be very good. If I can, yeah, if I do that... Oh, wait, no! I've almost won! Oh, no, I haven't won yet! I actually did quite like um, the Soon family quite a lot, obviously the descendants of Soon Tzu, who was also in, who obviously literally wrote the Book of War. Do I have to take this base here or take the drives out? Oh, I think we have to get every single one, but I'll take this base here. 
Um, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, hope it doesn't anyway. If it's taking too long, this is bad. Um, right, let's drive the enemy out of Heifei. Aha! Although, I'm not a big fan of Wei, but I don't, I don't know about Wu, because I don't like how these stabs kind of kind of stabs you in the back, in a way. Which sucks heavily, because... Well, I quite like her <laughs> shoe. If you, if I, as I told you guys earlier, I do like shoe quite a bit. Oh no no no! no. Don't press X. Uh, press R one. Hey, um, Dynasty Warriors eight, or otherwise known as Dynasty Warriors Shin, uh, So, Kugo or whatever it is, uh, Shin, Shin, yeah, some of like that. Seven is um, come out soon, I think. It's already out in Japan, so I'm waiting for it to come out in um, the wet in Europe. So hopefully it comes out really soon because I really do want to play that game quite a bit. In all fairness, it seems like a very um, good game, and plus I, have, I didn't actually play seven because I, I don't know, I was kind of disappointed with it with. Um, with what my friends were saying about it, so I never really gave it much of a chance. I will probably buy it just because it's Dynasty Warriors. By the way, I still want to um, get Dynasty Warriors. Um, oh man, stop leaving me away. Oh, it's a weapon here. Nice. And where are you, Gunning? Okay, right, now let's just kill you. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please enjoy the cutscene if there's one after this, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and peace, guys.